Hey guys, so um, I have kind of a fun video for you today, and that is because, oh I should have had this organized a little better beforehand, um, I got some new fun things from Colourpop in the mail, actually they came yesterday, but I just uh, had time to play with them today. Um, they didn't send this stuff to me, I bought it myself because good lord how much i wish colourpop would send me things that would be amazing but um you know their stuff's really inexpensive so having to pay for it yourself is not that huge of a struggle but um oh i have all this stuff like mixed up sorry um so i'm gonna swatch everything and do lip swatches because obviously you know my favorite thing from colourpop is their lippy sticks so um but I also wanted to show you, I got, they had, this is from their summer collection, if I didn't say that already. Um, I got this blush, which the ColourPop blushes are kind of a cream formula, but it's not, um, it's very lightweight. It's, it's almost like a moussey powder consistency, but they're, they apply really easily. And I love the, the ColourPop blushes. But this one is called Get Laid, L-E-I-D, which is a really fun, um, that was a weird place to swatch. <laughs> if I was taking a photograph, that would be perfect, but to actually like show you. So that's get laid on my skin very awkwardly. It's kind of a punchy orange, uh, peachy color. It's got a little, um, pastel situation going on too. Um, I'm not wearing it today because I thought it would totally clash with, um, the makeup I was kind of going for. But um, also I wanted to swatch all the lipsticks and I didn't want this blush like competing so I wanted to wear something neutral. Um, the other thing that I got from the Cheeks collection is um, this one is a bronzer and it's called Happy Hour. And there's a tiny, tiny bit of micro shimmer but you really can't detect it on the skin. Um, I'm actually wearing this in my crease today too because um, it's beautiful. So let's see if I swatch this here if that'll a little better oh okay yeah that's not so bad so that's happy hour and get laid so um with this one it's really great you can apply this with your fingers or with a brush oh yeah i used it as contour today too so i used it for my cheekbones i just feel like it's really a versatile shade and don't be put off that it looks so dark in the pan because it's really buildable so um the lippy stick that i'm wearing right now is called Polywog, and I'm gonna swatch on my hand. So that is Polywog. This is what it looks like in the tube. Um, I actually have a liner going around the edge of it right now. It's a NYX nude beige, I believe. But I'm gonna put it on. Um, mirror's not up here. What am I doing to myself? Sorry, didn't make to make the biggest shake. I want to show you what it looks like without a liner too. These are super opaque. Um, this is a cream finish. Uh, yeah, as you can see, so I say it's opaque, but I do feel like the edges of my lips, you can see some pink. That's why I chose to wear a liner. But, um, I was surprised because when I ordered this, I thought, I was like, oh my God, what was I thinking? That's too much of like a gray concealer type beige. I'm not gonna like that on me, but um, I actually like it on me quite a lot. And it's one of my favorite colors I picked up. So very happy with that. The other one that's not part of the box set that I got, um, this one is called Pinch. And this one is from the Rumor Has It collection, which um, is the Rumor Willis collaboration. This is a really beautiful kind of brown, um, kind of bruisey mauve color. And I can't remember if I showed you what it looks like in the tube. There's that. This one is a matte finish. And watch. Uh, my lips are gonna be struggling today because I swatched these all for Instagram earlier too. So lots of uh, taken off lipstick and a reapplying lipstick today. Oh, 
one of the things I like about these is the applicators make it really easy to apply them. So this one is pitch. So um, yeah, this is such a versatile color. I feel like lots of people are going to love this one. Um, super comfortable, very pretty. So that's the swatches of the two I've showed you so far. Now the rest of the ones I'm going to show you are all from this box set called Sundays in Silver Lake. They're really messy in the box right now because I've been playing with them. But um, I was going to show you them in order, but I'm going to do one out of order just because I feel like it's quite similar to the one I'm wearing right now, which is um, this one is Pinch and the one I'm going to show you is called Parker and it's also a matte. So that's Parker on the lips. This is Parker swatched. As you can see, they're pretty similar. Parker is a tiny bit lighter, a little bit more pink. Um, they're very, very similar. I do not think that you need both of these by any means, unless you're like me and you love colors that look identical to each other, in which case have at it. But, um, but yeah, you don't need both. I feel like I need to prop myself up or something. Hold on, I'll be right back. That's better. I was just like, my back has been bothering me and I feel like slouching is just making it worse. I felt like I needed a pillow for support. So the next one I'm gonna show you is called Ace and it's a cream finish. See, swatching light colors is easy. It's when I start getting into the dark ones that I'm gonna be like, no. This shade, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like or not, but I actually love it. Oh, so I can't remember if I showed it to you in the tube. It's looking a little bit, it's very cloudy outside, so unfortunately, like the swatching is looking quite true to color, but when I show you the tubes, not uh, completely accurate. So this is Ace. I th what's nice about this color is it's like it's a baby pink but it's not like too bubblegum I feel like and I feel um I feel like you could use a liner to kind of tone it down I've tried that um, I think nude liners look really nice with this a little bit brown tones um but yeah I uh I like this quite a bit and I love the cream finish I love the, the creams and the mattes are my favorite I think these ones taste especially good too for some reason. It's weird, it's looking a little bit more washed out on camera than it does in real life. But yeah, I feel like it's a, a baby pink that I can pull off because a lot of times I feel like baby pinks are just too much. Okay, so the next one is a little bit brighter. This one is called Cella. The tube for this one is a cream finish as well, but my tube is a little funky 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 like it's not um, positioned correctly and it's I can't get it like it won't close like I'll just twist it and twist it and it won't close right so I don't know if that's just sign or if they're all defective like that So this is Chella on. I think this color is beautiful. My only thing that I've noticed with this one, like when I was taking swatch photos earlier, is I feel like this one kind of has a yellowing effect on my teeth. Um, it's not a huge deal breaker. I think that the color is so pretty, it kind of distracts from your teeth, honestly. But um, 
but yeah that's just uh, something to keep in mind if you're super concerned about that it's a kind of a bright pastel and I feel like bright pastels kind of do that but that's a swatch of Chella on my hand these colors are all so pretty so far you can see why I'm so happy with this collection um, the next color is another pretty one not one of my favorites but this one is called thirsty it's a satin that's what it looks like in the tube that's the swatch and let me put it on for you this tissue is starting to look crazy I'm gonna be bummed when I'm done doing this because I don't want to wear a dark lipstick today and the last colors really stain. Not this one, but the other two. I'm just gonna have to do some hard work to get them, get the stain off. Anyways, so this is Thirsty. I'm usually not um, really into purpley colors, but I think this one looks nice. Um, yeah, I went through kind of a phase where I was liking purples a lot, and then I'm kind of going back into my usual routine where I like the nudes. I'm liking, like, brown nudes a lot, but, like, the purples I'm kind of drifting away for, from again. But yeah, even this one stains, though. You can see. That's why I tend to go in order from lightest to darkest, which, that's how these actually were packaged in here anyway, so... Perfect. This one is called Pasties. Sorry, I don't even know why I'm showing you this if I'm not going to focus on it. It's a hyper glossy, which is my least favorite formula, just because I'm not a big fan of hyper glossy lipsticks. Um, like this shade, I'm probably going to give it to my mom because I'm not a. I don't wear bright lipsticks very often. That's what I was gonna say is the downside of these box collections is that you, the way that they do them is usually they're all limited edition colors so you can only get them by purchasing the box. And there's always gonna be colors that you don't like then I would just rather buy them individually. It's fun to get a box and like go through it and you know try them sometimes you'll try one that um, you might not have tried that you really like, but mostly I know what I like and um, yeah, like I know I'm not gonna wear this. It's pretty, don't get me wrong, but it's just out of my comfort zone. It's not the kind of color that I will reach for. So I just don't like having things I know I won't use basically. So the last one is another one that I probably won't wear often even though it's really pretty. This one is called Cougar, and it's matte finish. It's kind of a bright, um, it's like, it's a pinky red, but it's definitely, it's like magenta almost. Whenever I say magenta, I think of Crayola Crayons. So again, really pretty color, just out of my comfort zone, not something I will likely reach for on a regular basis. So um, yeah, but that is it. Those are all the swatches. Um, I will list them all below too. There's them on my hand again. Um, if you have any questions about anything, you can order ColourPop products from their website, which is colourpop.com. They spell it with a U, so it's C-O-L-O-U-R-P-O-P. -P. But um, I'll put all the information and stuff in the box. Again, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm not being paid for any of this. I just think that it's helpful to post swatches, especially when it's stuff like independent brands like this where you can't go into a store and swatch it yourself. You just have to go by other people's photos and swatches. Um, I just, I this is the kind of stuff that I look for myself on YouTube, so I like to be the provider of these things as well. So um, I hope that you found it helpful and um, get to shopping, ladies. ColourPop stuff's super cheap. Like for the box set is uh, was thirty, but you get six colors, so they're five, still five dollars each. And then the individual ones are five dollars each, and the um, blush 
and bronzers are eight dollars each um i will tell you that there is not a ton of product in these um and the blushes and the bronzers there's 4.2 grams um which that sounds like a lot but i hit pan really quickly on these um but i still like i haven't used them up or anything and i feel like it's kind of nice to hit pan on things i don't know about you guys i enjoy it but um anyways i hope you enjoyed the video and um i will talk to you guys soon bye